finally at the long awaited point of bleeding the clutch man it has been a, a pretty long process just because you know things happen and you just gotta mo ro you just gotta roll with the punches and just keep going so um without further ado i'm just gonna jump straight into this video we're gonna, we're gonna bleed the clutch two things i'm worried about one the first one which has nothing to do with cars wasp so the car has been sitting a little while a couple months and we we didn't think or anticipate there would be wasps making nests it was like it was crazy last video we i didn't get it on camera because it was just a spur of the moment wasps flying everywhere there was like two total uh well i would say three nests in total that we found but one particular one was in the car and um we were running for our lives we I mean, it was it was crazy. We killed maybe about five to six, uh, destroyed like I said three nests. So there's two on the fence, one within the car, and uh, the fence, the car is next to the fence. So they were flying in and out of those two. So it was crazy. And I will say that I have noticed wasps flying around <laughs> around the car again. There were two today that I saw. So I know that we're probably going to, have to deal with the same thing and the reason why that they're there you're probably thinking why didn't you watch out watch the car why didn't you you know do whatever well because i was gone for two weeks i was in louisiana so it's just like i didn't have time to really keep an eye on it so i'm worried about that because i did notice wasps flying um uh, around the car the second thing is i'm still a little worried about i think my battery might still be an issue it's not as strong as it uh you know would be if uh it's not as strong as it should be so the last time i had it fully charged it was um it was gauged at 67 percent of of like it's full power of if you want to call it that it's full power full usage so uh we'll see whatever but the alternator has been replaced from the last time the last clip that i had in my vlog where uh the z had died <laughs> or it was dying pretty much uh, so that has been taken care of that was one of the main things that i was worried about when it came to getting it cranked up but the battery we're gonna see you know how that goes but today is the day is the day we should hopefully be able to test drive it i don't see why not um we not prolong it but um today's the day we bleed the clutch and we get uh, on the road so I will take you guys to the part where we get to that so uh, see you in the next part okay grabbing much needed brake fluid and going out I gotta get this one on I gotta get this one on camera this one is this is hilarious so this is what I was talking about Brandon, I forget. Did I work on this the last time? Uh, you can't even I see it, but there's a wasp in this And then you're going to have to check the fluid when I say so. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold on, don't. My one job is to pump the clutch, so. Go ahead and pump it. Okay. Uh, all the way through, right? Just once. Go. Finish pump, pumping clutch. Now we just have to put the battery in, make sure everything's okay with that. Then watch some wasps die. First, we're gonna just test it to make sure it's holding charge. I'm gonna get some real ones, I promise. I'm, I'm gonna get real a real key. Get out of that face, you were judging me. I hate it too, I hate looking at it. Well, it's the first startup. The battery had checked out at 12 volts. And there goes the wasp nest. <laughs> There's a wasp nest. And all that car.
you guys just saw us kind of um, letting the car run. Mauricio was actually going through the gears or whatever. Hey, yo, uh, since it's on jack stands, we were going through the gears and stuff. And so what we're going to do now is cut the brake pedal because it's, uh, there's, it's too close to the clutch pedal. So we have to cut that. And then get it off the jack stands and I guess try it. Try it out tonight. And... So we're back from getting a jack, take it off the jack stands. And also one of the last things I have to do is put my lower shroud piece on. But other than that, we are ready for a test drive. And let's see how this goes. Okay. I need to cut about half of that off. Don't cut me. Worked that well. Nothing to see here. <laughs> no carnage. You got it. No broken hands. No casualties. actually happening. You're good, you're good. Oh my gosh. A manual Z boy. Well that is a uh, something wrong with your car the automatic transmission light keeps coming on like it's not there the what <laughs> i was like the automatic marisa did you forget the work that you've done what work i didn't do it oh my bad i just came to help you get off the of jack wow it looks normal you see me take off the reverse yeah. it grabs like this far off the ground mm, okay so it'll be it won't be too bad bro Dude, amazing it's a light it's a light clutch okay heavy at all. Okay. Alright. Well. Cut the clip. Cut the clip. Cut the clip. It's on fire. 